Once the opportunity arose for him to close the show, he did it in emphatic style. Whatever he hits, falls. Oscar Bevis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Sonny, you won every round on one of the judges' scorecards. Was it as easy as it looked? Um, for the, as far as the three Mexicans go, I think that was my easiest one in there. Um, I was on cruise control, I didn't really get out of first gear for the whole fight. And I think the seventh round I caught him with a good right hand. And as you can see now, look, I thought my knuckle went straight up swollen. So I sort of just stopped throwing it as much, just sort of palming it and going off my left hand. Because it, it did really hurt for that, that seventh, eighth round. But um, yeah, I finished quite strong. I thought I'd not, I'll mix it a little bit in with in the last round. I said, he's come a long way from Mexico, so I thought I'd stand there and have a little trade. <coughs> I can't just go 10 rounds dancing out, out round the outside of the ring. Your hand injury, is that sort of why, I say injury, the, the soreness to your hand, was that sort of what stopped you from <coughs> trying to get him out of eggs? I know that Yeah, Grant's we had, in, we had a plan, we had a round. Cushion. Yeah, we had a round. I think you could see I was starting to turn the screw. I was holding my feet a little bit more. I was twitching off his jab and, and throwing a round over the top. That's what caught him with. But as soon as it hurt, I tried to like put the pressure on with it just on the left hand, but then I thought there's no point, you know what I mean? Because um, instinctively I'm going to be throwing my right hand, so I thought I'd just take away the danger of me doing any more damage to it. It's just a bit swollen and it shouldn't put me out for any time at all. Um, and yeah, looking forward to hopefully getting another fight date sooner rather than later. Is there anything that he bought that you ain't really seen before? I know you said he's had quite a snappy jab for the first couple of rounds and then sort of stopped throwing it. Throwing it no, I was, I was surprised that he actually had a jab because the other two Mexicans didn't really throw one at all. He was doing them wide winging, just mainly planting for my body. Because obviously as I'm moving, a lot of lateral, he was doing the right thing. Um, but I feel like when I was landing clean, I was hurting him, but their Mexicans are tough as old boots and as soon as they get hurt, their reaction to go forward, forward, forward. And it kind of discourages you to want to sit there and keep throwing big shots because <laughs> At the end of the day, if you're just going to keep fucking busting up your hand, then there's no point. You, a lot of movement, a lot of skills. You said that you only, your feet only really bleed when you fight, not in sparring, when you're actually fighting because of the way and the speed that you're moving. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I don't know why. Um, this Every single fight I have, I seem to think they're the same boots that are sparring, the same socks that are sparring, so it must be because I'm moving that little bit faster, that little bit sharper, and I'm, um, you know what I mean? Staying out of range, going to stay out of trouble. And obviously some more belts added to the collection as well? Yeah, um, two, not, two new belts. Um, I think you saw four there. I've got one more. I've got the IBF, the red one coming, another one to come. Because that was actually my one that I, I won today. So they owe me a belt. So I have five belts. Um, maybe I'll retire the Dover European because that's, that's an old workhorse now. It's been, it's been carried out so many times. So I think I'll retire that one and just... It's getting discoloured. Yeah, it is. That's what I mean, I think they start this kind of thing. Obviously, you're in a good place with the WBO and the IBF now. Is that what you're going to be looking for, sort of, in world-level fights? Yeah, anything. I just want to stay busy. I, just, I still show every time that I've still got a lot to learn, a lot more strength to go into. Um, I feel like I showed a bit more there, you know, being that one step out. Every time he wanted to have a trade, I'd just move, hit him on the way in and just sort of stay out of trouble. When his head went down, making sure I kept it down, you know what I mean? No silly head clashes. Just taking away the risk, to be honest, and trying to be as entertaining as possible. Um, you know, I wish my hand didn't go in that seventh, eighth round, whatever it was, because then I always finish off and, and turn the screw. But when I hurt one hand, I thought I'd just, you know, keep going, keep going on the jab and just be safe and, and bring the belt. So, is it a good night for you? Anything else you'd like to add before I go? No, I just you know a big thank you for the, the opportunity. Um, you know, BT, Frank Warren, MTK, my training team, everyone has come down, and come out and supported me. But I didn't give no tickets back this time, so this time. So my support's building. I, I was asking for more, I didn't get them. So. Yeah, I can't really complain. Um, that was my fifth fight in 11 months, in under 11 months. Um, fifth title fight, fifth 10 rounder. Um, yeah, I've got a holiday book, you know, go out to Dubai and, and have a meeting with my management set up over there, me and Charlie. So that'd be good, that'd be nice. Uh, as well as, you know, plan out our, our next year or the end of this year and our, our next year. Just one more thing, actually. Um, how comes that you're not the main event or you weren't sort of <coughs> top of the bill? Um, well, it was main event um, and I think what makes sense is between them two that are in the ring right now they sold what three 350 tickets i had 100 tickets sold every single one of them against someone that didn't sell any so you know put them on at the end makes sense to keep them well it was always billed as me main event them co-headline anyway yeah. so i think there was always a chance but um i think it worked out for the best do you know what i mean for me and like i said in the press conference and the interviews before for me that was the headline anyway you know two british undefeated fighters fighting, putting all on the line for the British title, which is a great title one I want myself. And everyone in there knows them, do you know what I mean? So it makes more sense that's going to be a more lively climax than me, you know, 
dancing around the ring against a, a Mexican pretender. Winning all 10 rounds. Yeah, it's like, and I, I'm a realist, and I said, I, said, I said this, and even Zach Chelly and Cody Davies was a great fight, and Cracking we fight, was yeah. watching it before mine on, on Jamie Sheldon's iPhone, and you know, Zach started <laughs> well, and, 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 and Cody finished really, really strong, was bullying him at the end, so yeah, it's been a great card, I think, because Shaqan Pitters and Dex Bellman look like an absolute great fight as Cracker well. As well yeah. So what's that? Three good fights so far, and, and that sounds like a good fight. Sounds like a good fight, yeah, I want to go and watch it, so I'm going to leave you on. <laughs> That's all right. So it was famous speaking to so <coughs> TV, and I'm sure we'll sure catch up with you soon. Yeah, thank you. Once the opportunity arose for him to close the show, he did it in emphatic style. Delivery, it's false.